Numbers 31, we see God commanding the Israelites to take vengeance on the Midianites. It says, beginning in verse 1, Then the Lord said to Moses, On behalf of the people of Israel, take revenge on the Midianites for leading them into idolatry. After that, you will die and join your ancestors. So Moses said to the people, Choose some men and arm them to fight the Lord's war of revenge against Midian. For many, this is a chapter that doesn't sit well with Christians today. We live in a world where world peace is something that is toted by every leader, pageant queen, and celebrity as something that we all hope to see in our lifetime. Vengeance is something that we are uncomfortable with. It doesn't seem consistent with God's love. Even Paul says in Romans 12, 18, do all that you can to live at peace with everyone. But the truth is, Peace is not always possible, but that doesn't give us a free pass to take revenge on all those who wrong us. When we take vengeance into our own hands, that is when we invite evil in. Paul goes on to say in Romans 12 verse 19, Dear friends, never take revenge, leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scripture says, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. But in Numbers 31, we're seeing just that, God's vengeance, and he's using the people of Israel to be his instrument of vengeance on the Midianites, an evil group of people who are leading others into sexual immorality and idolatry. It goes on to say in Numbers 31, 14 through 16, but Moses was furious with the generals and captains who had returned from battle. Why have you let the women live, he demanded. These are the very ones who followed Balaam's advice and caused the people of Israel to rebel against the Lord at Mount Peor. They are the ones who caused the plague to strike the Lord's people. Moses was angry that the Israelites had failed to see the danger of sexual immorality and idolatry that these women posed to them. They clearly didn't see them as a threat. But these were the very same women that led the men of Israel into sexual sin and idolatry before, and if given the chance, would certainly do it again, causing them to fail. So today, I want to leave you with uh, this word of caution from commentator David Guzik. He says, We often think of many things as dangerous to us as Christians. Hostile government, secular humanism, academic attack, and so forth. But the things we accept in our midst as Christians that open the door to immorality and idolatry can do far more real danger than any of those other things.